One of the greatest mysteries of Woodstock, actually, was Dorian's disappearance. Uh, take Morrison, Hendrix, Joplin, Jagger, numerous others, drop them in a blender, um, bingo, Dorian. 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 Dorian Fallock. Dorian Fallock. Dorian Fallock. Dorian Fallock. Dorian Fallock. Dorian. Dorian Fallock. Dorian Fallock. Good evening, guitar addicts. My name is Hack <laughs> And welcome to Guitar Gods and Masterpieces. Tonight I am going to present you a story of the type that only comes around once in a journalist's lifetime. This is the story of Dorian Fallock. The rock icon that never was. This could well be my ticket to a job at Classic Rock Magazine or Guitar World Magazine. Yes, you can treat this as my job application. I hope the magazine editors are watching. You can send your contract offers to hack at guitargodstv.com. I am sure there's some senior writers getting nervous about their jobs. In case they choose not to take this opportunity, I've also plugged some of their competitors, who I am sure will jump at the chance for the Dorian Scoop. Okay, back to the story. Although maybe some of you would rather I keep showing you magazines. I initially stumbled over the name Dorian Fallick in a Chinese restaurant classified. Enjoy the oriental sounds of Dorian Fallick's Wawa. And another one read, Dumplings with Dorian. I did more research and traced his classifieds through the decades. I was fascinated that someone could specialise in performing wah guitar in Chinese restaurants. I couldn't see the correlation between the wa and the wontons until I saw it rhymed as a subheading. Experience the exotic sounds of the wa wa with your yum cha. Then it all made sense. It was marketing genius. I love Chinese food and I love wa wa. So I was hooked. I became a follower. I became a regular at what became known as the yum wa sessions every Saturday afternoon at the, uh, the Happy Sunny Palace in Nanawari. A lot of us guys started going there because that's where all the girls were. He was the master of the triple wah wah effect. You know, I mean, three wah wah pedals going at once. You know, both feet. And well, we never figured out how he did the third one because there were just so many girls up the front. I don't know why. I thought Dorian was just an old hippie who loved Chinese food. But it became more evident to me one day that he was far more than that. While speaking about the Dorian scale, Joe Satriani, I mistakenly said the words Dorian Fallick. And I was very surprised that he knew Dorian's Chinese restaurant wire work. I don't know why Dorian never made it big, or even small. And to my surprise, there's more to this relationship. It is true that Dorian once roadied for me. He was very handy, as he was able to keep spare batteries, gaff tape, whammy pedals, all in his hair. It's hard to find road crew like that. Then in my future interviews, I raised the name Dorian Fallick with Glenn Hughes from Deep Purple. I've been told that legendary things about his wah-wah pedaling that was, that's the reason I actually moved to LA. It really wasn't big to join Deep Purple. It was to actually get close enough to get a meeting with him. But unfortunately, um, he joined Uriah Heap for a while. This young man got into my inventory in the warehouse and stole my white suit from California Jam. So. Uh, if, you're, if you know where Dorian Fallock is, uh, my email address is flatline underscore 101. I kept asking other artists. And I was quite surprised that the name Dorian Fallock was so well known to the greatest musicians of the world, but not known to the music fans of the world. Dorian ventured into B-grade session work, so who better to ask than the greatest session guitarist himself in Steve Lukather? He, he was a legend. I mean, I, nobody ever really saw him. You just heard about him. Many of us thought that he could have been a composite of different people, maybe someone who was dressing up like him. You just heard about these things. You never, you know, you never really knew if it was real or not. It was kind of like Bigfoot. Does Bigfoot really exist? Even the world's greatest sly guitarist in Derek Trucks and soul siren Susan Tedeschi caught a show in Australia. The, the, the first time I saw Dorian was a small club in, in Sydney and uh, me and the band just kind of stumbled in late night after a show and it we were, we were blown away, and we were like, people need to see this guy, um, but they, they will. It'll, it'll take some time, you know. Artists like Ornette Coleman and 
50 years ahead of the curve. So they'll, they'll be talking about it <laughs> late in the game. People, you know, there's a great story about Max Roach walking up to Ornette Coleman and punching him out because the music was, he didn't think it was, it was appropriate and it wasn't jazz. And then five years later, Max is playing Ornette Coleman tunes. So I think it's going to be like that. People, people can't quite process it yet, but it's coming. I've also discovered he worked as a tour manager of one of Australia's greatest bands in Powderfinger. It's true that Phalic toured with us in Powderfinger many a time. We, uh, we needed him for our extra drink rider requests, which he always delivered. I mean, without Phalic's drink rider, we just, we wouldn't have had songs like Like a Dog, which, come to think of it, may have been written about him. Hmm. After so many personal musical failures, Dorian gave up on his musical career and became an activist for the survival of the guitar solo. He takes his fight seriously and he's on the front line for guitar players' rights to solo. Well, nobody else has ever, has ever taken the time or the energy or, or the emphatic to stand up for guitar players' rights. The right to actually express yourself alone without any help from anybody else. Well, guitar players' rights are certainly worthwhile standing up for. They have to be protected. After so many rejections from the a &R guys, he then pursued the spiritual New Age movement. He's been working as a guru with many followers. Darian Felix is my god. I can't wait for Darian Felix's next masterclass. He even created his own school of meditation, which upset many of the other shonky New Age healers. He named his class Meditation with the Wawa. Hypnosis is a girl's best friend. Relax, relax, relax. Other followers of Dorian would go on to collaborate on writing books. I've heard lately that, that Dorian is using a technique that I suggested to him, which is to use the music from uh, a Racer X song that I wrote, which is called Phallic Tractor. And uh, I found in my own life that this is a very useful piece of music for the kind of subjects that, that Dorian covers. I hope it's helpful to you as well. And uh, Dory and I will be collaborating on, our, uh, on a book, actually, in the future, about how to use Phallic Tractor for your own life to improve it in, uh, in many ways. Dorian even gave relationship advice to the guitar stars of the world. You know, Dorian Phallic, is a, he's, a, he's a great source for um, keeping a happy relationship with your guitar and your wife and your, and, your, and your folks and your kids. You know, I'm busy with my phone, and I definitely ring Dorian quite often, maybe too much, but that's Dorian. But stay tuned for a big announcement, as Dorian still believes in his hippie rights to protest, and he's preparing to release a protest song titled, Don't You Tell Me Not To Play Guitar. He will be holding auditions for his new band, Dorian Felic and the Astral Cosmic Travel Agency. Prepare your licks now.